Greetings people, my name is Snapfix and today I'm going to tell you uh, what hybrid builds are, why you should care about hybrid builds, some of the stat changes that happened in Ascension Season 8 Phase 2, uh, some things that you should probably do when making a hybrid build and some things that you should definitely not do when making a hybrid build. As usual, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will most likely get back to you if it's hybrid build related. Um, and otherwise, I have some pretty big brain viewers. So I am, I'm sure that a lot of those guys will be able to, to help you as well if you have any questions. Also, I'll try to remember to put timestamps in this video so you can skip back and forth in the video for the exact information that you're looking for uh, in relation to hybrid builds. And yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so let me just start off by telling you what a hybrid build is if you're a new player. A hybrid build is a build that relies on melee, ranged, or physical abilities to do magic damage. So you will be scaling the, your magic damage, you will be taking on-hit talents that do magic damage. The two most common ways of applying this is uh, melee and physical. Ranged is not as common. Technically, you could do it on a hunter build, for example, with ranged abilities, but it does not work as well because there are abilities that require you to be melee. Things such as Fell Infused Weapon do not work for ranged attacks, they only work for melee attacks. So that is why the most two common ones are melee and physical. Some popular examples of uh, hybrid builds are One with the Light and Lava Sweep for example. Those two builds are super easy to get into in the beginning and they work really well. Alright, so now you know exactly what a hybrid build is, uh, but why should you care at all, right? I mean, if you don't want to do big damage, if you don't uh, necessarily try to push endgame content, it wouldn't really matter too much. If you're just doing casual dungeons and such, uh, it's not really gonna matter. If you're very into PvP and want to compete in that scene, or if you want to compete on the Mythic Plus and raiding scene, then it matters a lot because hybrid builds are really, really, really strong this season. Uh, this season so far has been proven to be the season of mages and hybrid damage. All of the builds that are doing the most damage at the moment are either pure magic damage builds or uh, hybrid builds. So if you want to be truly competitive and do more damage than your guild, uh, those are the builds that you should be going. This leads me to the next section, which is the uh, stat changes. In Season 8, Phase 2, they uh, changed how stats work. Also, this generally applies mostly to hybrid builds. So it's a very important topic to talk about here. So basically, um, every single st uh, stat in the game pretty much was changed and given an overhaul. For example, Intellect now gives melee crit and Agility now gives spell crit. Also, all abilities now scale with both spell power and attack power, which means things like Fireball will do more damage with attack power now, and things such as Mortal Strike will do more damage if you're stacking spell power. Stats such as hit rating and uh, dodge and parry and block and every single other stat in the game were also changed. If you're interested in seeing all of the changes that were made to hybrid build stats, uh, I will leave a link in the comments and the description if I remember it this time. To the Season 8 Phase 2 page that tells you all about the stat changes. This leads me to the next section which is about things that you should do when making a hybrid build and you should always take mental uh, quickness because you want to be scaling spell power and uh, magic damage when going a hybrid build there's no point in scaling the physical damage that also means you should try to grab as many on hit uh, magic damage talents as you can also you will always have at least one spell school on your hybrid build so you should always try to scale that spell school so if it's frost you should scale your frost damage and if it's fire you should scale your fire damage also you should always be either strength or agility main stat um, and most of the time you should probably pick agility for the extra spell crit unless you need the parry and the block rating from strength because yes while strength does increase your attack power more than agility does uh, spells do generally tend to scale more with spell power than they do with attack power even though they do scale with both now as I went over in the stat changes. And now we get to the probably the most important section which is things that you should absolutely not do when doing a hybrid build. You should absolutely never ever 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 go into like main stat because that means you cannot uh, get use out of mental quickness. And mental quickness is basically your whole bread and butter for the build and it gives, it gives you 10% extra increased damage so it is already there a must and also another thing that you should never ever ever do uh, when making a hybrid build is you should uh, not stack intellect on your gear and i cannot stress this enough 
don't go for intellect gear, okay? What you want to do is you want to go and mix between agility or strength if you're going strength. But again, I would recommend agility. So you should go and mix between agility and spell power. And spell power is a secondary stat. Do not go intellect on your gear. I see a lot of people doing this and wondering, why is, where's my damage? That is because intellect does not get converted into spell power. If you read your main stat uh, descriptions, right? If you go intellect main stat, it only basically doubles your uh, the amount of spell power that you have. It does not convert intellect into spell power. And conversely, if you go agility or strength, it does not convert intellect into spell power. The only thing intellect does is give you a bigger mana pool. And you probably do not need that anyways, because you're going to be doing physical and melee attacks, right? So usually those require either energy or rage. So yeah, do not ever stack intellect on your gear. Go for spell power. Another thing, do not forget to take mental quickness. Mental quickness is so fucking good. Do not forget to take it. Also, you should probably always grab Fell Infused Weapon unless you're, you know, using any other thing. So for Lava Sweep builds, you kind of have to take Flame Tongue. But otherwise, you should always grab Fell Infused Weapon. Even if you're playing a build that does not scale either Shadow or Fire Damage. But it's, it is just too strong. So do not forget to take that. And the last thing that you should not do is you should not try to scale the physical side of things. Do not go for more uh, attack power. You always want to be stacking spell power if you have the chance. If you have the option of two pieces of gear, always go with the spell power. Anyways, I think that's about it. Usually I always think of something extra that I didn't get in the video. Um, and it always annoys me every single time. But if you do have any questions, as I said, put it in the comments. I will most likely get back to you or my viewers will. And uh, let's have a discussion down there on how you guys are building your hybrid builds and what's working for you guys. Anyways, that's it for me now. I will see you guys in the next video.